All right. Hi, everyone. Rebecca Rhodes here. Going live to talk about the July Animal Eyes Challenge. But what I want to do is quickly talk about or answer some of your questions that I've been getting about this July Animal Eyes Challenge, which I'm really excited about. So let me just take a look at some of these questions. Okay, first of all, I've created a course in the school that provides a description and I've got frequently asked questions in there and there's a section that will eventually contain reference photos and drawings for you to use unless you'd like to use your own which you're free to do or you can do a mix of whatever works best for you. So the challenge officially begins July 1st but that's the day that you post your first painting. You can start early. In fact, I'm starting now. I've got drawings made and yeah, I'm creating just little little drawings like this. And that's what I'll use at this point. Now, the other thing I'm doing and some of you had mentioned this on Facebook is I'm sizing these eyes. I don't know if you can see this clearly, but I'm sizing these eyes so that they'll fit a normal size painting and I typically do eight by tens or I do five by sevens. So I'm using these eyes as a practice run and then I'll have the entire drawing ready to go when I want to create the full painting. And uh, I talked about that yesterday with some of you, which is a great idea. Or you can just do eyes, really, whatever you want to do. So it's fine to start in advance. Start early so there won't be any pressure in July. You can just post an eye a day. Uh, let's see. So the challenge officially begins July 1st. That's when we post our painting for the first time. One painting, as many days as you can post in July. I'm aiming for 30 days, a painting a day. And there are 31 days in July, so I'm leaving myself a buffer day. And I am working in advance. In fact, I just did this one yesterday. And what I'm also doing is as I paint, I'm creating video of myself painting so that either at the end of July, definitely in August, I'll post these paintings in the school and you can use them as courses. You can you can learn how to paint the eyes that I paint. Okay, so Let's check out some of these other questions. So the challenge officially begins July 1st. Uh, I'm aiming for a painting a day. Do what you can, right? No pressure. Have fun. Start anytime. You can create the drawings now. You can get painting now. Just post one every day. Okay, there was the question, am I teaching each painting in July? I'm posting a painting that I create every day. And then I'll turn them into courses that will be posted at the end of July into August. Now, this is the first year I'm doing this, and I'm thinking next year that could happen. So that's a great idea. My paintings are going to be small. And someone had asked, well, are you going to include some hair markings? I am. Here's another one I created. So I'll create the eye and then you'll get some hair markings around it. So it's like a mini tutorial of the process that I use in creating pet portraits. You'll get the eye, then you'll get the underpainting and creating the map and how to layer and how to create fur and how to glaze. So I'm really excited about that. If you don't know how to paint eyes, well, there use you can use all of those courses in the school as a guide. And I'd really like to provide at least one quick eye tutorial for you if you just don't know where to get started. And so that's one of my goals. I've still got a week to do it, right? So I'd like to get at least one tutorial in there for you to use as a guide. And I'll be painting brown eyes and blue eyes and bird's eyes and dogs and cats and all kinds of animals. Someone said do a turtle. Uh, some people are asking for like eagles. So, oh, by the way, do you have requests? Go ahead and post them in Facebook. I'm keeping a list. Any level of experience, right? From beginner to advanced, any style, as long as it's watercolor. All right? 
I'm looking forward to seeing what you do. If you can't post a painting a day, no problem. Uh, set a goal like every other day or every five days. Do what you can. There's no pressure. Have fun. Enjoy the Facebook community. Uh, get inspired looking at other people's paintings. It's going to be fun. All right. That's everything I have listed there. And I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Tell you what, if I missed any questions, why don't you just put it on the Facebook page? I encourage you to post your paintings everywhere because. There are members of the school that aren't on Facebook and they still want to see your paintings. So post it on Facebook, post it in the community in the school and put it on all your favorite social media. Do you do blogs? Put it on there and use that hashtag. What is that hashtag? July Animal Eyes? That way you'll, it'll get out into the public. All right, if I've missed anything, Go ahead and throw your question into the Facebook group or email me. Um, share your ideas. Share your requests for what kinds of eyes you want to do. And I think that's it for now. So I'll talk to you later. Have a great Sunday. See ya.